In this part of the video, I want to just real quick show you two things. A repository is the place that we store our data and our processes. So I wanted to show you how to, how to make a repository because if you're like me, you'll start to have tons of processes and data all over the place. And it's always really nice to be able to organize that effectively. Okay, so now I've got my new sample repository. Let's go load our CSV file from baseball reference. So we're going to pick baseball reference.csv. Pull that in. You'll see that the default is it's looking for separation by semicolon. We want separation by comma. It's going to assign different types based on the kind of data that it finds. And we'll save it in our sample repository. And now we have some data that we can work with. 